it is a very intimate, revealing mm. book, and it, it's very sad in places when Ferguson shafts him, mm. and it, he doesn't do it quickly. He takes a year to shaft Roy. Knowing Roy's character, he, he gives Roy the spade and lets Roy dig his own grave. Do you think Ferguson was vindictive in that regard? I think he was ruthless, yeah. I yeah. mean, Keane was an amazing player. Yeah. And he was the captain of Manchester United. They won a lot of things, including the Champions League, when he was there yeah. as the leader of the team. But then, and it, it's very clear reading the book, that he was always out of control. Uh, I think he was tortured by the fact that his body couldn't move anymore. He was taking handfuls of painkillers before games. He was taking painkilling injections. So the greatest, he was very physical mm -hmm. uh, as a player. Also great, a great footballing mind, but his powers had diminished to the point where he wasn't contributing. As he says himself in the book, I wasn't able to control games the way I used to be able to. And that's the twilight zone for a footballer sure. or any sportsman. I mean, Brian O'Driscoll has just gone through it as a rugby player. Yeah. Keane went through it. And he talks about that. Uh, and Ferguson recognised it. And instead of facilitating a comfortable transition, transition ex exit, strategy, yeah. no. no. He wound Keane up and shafted him. Because 